<laughs> With breaking news, is Charlie Gasparino. Besides the fact that you're out till 2 a.m., you've got some big breaking news on former head of Goldman Sachs, John Corzine, New Jersey governor, MF Global. You remember, What's he, going on? He, he, MF Blo Global blew up under his watch. Right. Uh, you know, he faced a regulatory fine, $5 million. He was barred from from um, trading in commodities, not regular stocks, mainly barred. I should introduce you as Charlie Gasparino, shouldn't I? Yes, really please. Quick, sir. <laughs> Charlie so mainly, mainly barred from, 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 from doing uh, commodities from the CFTC, but he could start his own hedge fund, and that's what he did. It's not news that he started his own hedge funds. The Times had a story late last year about how he was uh, starting it. Bloomberg did something earlier this year he was starting. But here's what the news is was from uh, sources. Uh, close to the matter, we understand that Corzine has been pitching this for the next year, f looking for new investors, and it's falling pretty flat. But we understand that his investors are giving him the cold shoulders. He has raised anywhere between 20 million and 50 million. Not, not a lot, uh, wait, right? Not a lot. That's like zero uh, <laughs> okay. so far. I was being nice. After yeah. a year of selling it, um, I believe he, the way it was described to me is the big chunk of money of that very, very little chunk of money that he has raised uh, came from main, mainly one investor. So this thing is falling on its face. Now, we should point out that it's not been a good, a good, uh, a good year for any hedge fund. Steve Cohen only raised $3 billion, and that's Steve Cohen, when he did his whole, whole thing. And so a lot of people are going out of those actively managed funds, which cost a lot of money, right, huge fees, yeah. into more passive. But this, I think what, what's happening with Corzine, from the people I, I talk to, is a couple of things. He is, it's very hard for him to escape the ghost of MF Global. People are still worried about him taking risk with their money, and that's why he's getting the brush off from a lot of investors. Remember, the MF Global not just lost a lot of money on a trade, uh, people got scared about it. It was actually a good trade if it would have lasted. Mm -hmm. The problem was that it was a short-term, it was a trade that when people saw it in 2010, it was based on buying, I think it was Italian and Spanish debt. People freaked out mm -hmm. because the Eurozone was under so much pressure. Investors pulled their money out of MS Global. He got downgraded by the rating agencies, and the firm imploded. And then you remember mm -hmm. a, something like a billion dollars of customer money they had went missing. Now, most, most of that missing, most of that money came back Nobody was, no one was, uh, was faced criminal charges, but Corzine's reputation as a trader, even though he worked at Goldman, ran Goldman, was a New Jersey senator and, and everything else, governor, mm -hmm. took yeah. a huge hit. He was, he's trying to make his redemption on this fund. And one other thing heard it, and this is something, I'm writing all this up for foxbusiness.com, it should be up there fa fairly soon. He has an offering document, which we've obtained, a confidential wow. offering document. Okay. We're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna disclose that on Fox Business. There's, there's the, the cover sheet. The document, according to the investors I talked to, in terms of its risk parameters, made, didn't make a lot of sense. You know, ability to roll the dice in emerging markets more than people thought, thought he should, ability to take risk above and beyond, and this will all be laid out in my foxbusiness.com story. And one other thing, there was really no mention in the document of what happened at MF Global. You know, like, I made this type of trade at MF Global. The Did it need to be? I, I think yeah. most people consider that the elephant in the room. What was mentioned in the document, and I'm telling you, this is way at the end and in pretty, in, in fairly fine print, was the CFTC settlement that he, that he engaged in and how he's barred from doing commodities, from trading in commodities, but mm -hmm. he can still trade security. So a lot of people are saying, you know, why didn't you come clean with, tell us about that one trade and your perspective on it, it is the elephant in the room. And I think, I think you put all that together, and people are scared of giving him, a lot of people, I'm not saying he's not going to, listen, I like John Corzine, decent guy. Mm -hmm. He was a very good trader for in his day. But that MF Global thing is hanging over him, and people are not giving him his money. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm, the, his PR spokesman um, confirmed this, I should point out. I asked him, I said, I understand he, has, he hasn't raised virtually no money. He said, we've raised tens of millions. Mm -hmm. I said, that's virtually no money. If you know anything about the hedge fund world, I heard it was 20 million. He says that he thinks they'll have 50 million by June. Mm, Let's, still not much. I mean, it's still yeah. not much not here. Enough, He's, yeah. John Corzine's yeah. bid for redemption is uh, is facing a big time uphill battle with investors. I want to repeat that all of this is going up in the next few moments. Foxbusiness.com. Right. You can look at the document the way, that Charlie has obtained. Did you, did you see what happened with GE? Well. You with GE I actually have to talk about GE right now if you want to stick around. Now you know yeah. who told everybody on, two yeah. days ago <laughs> that they may cut their dividend. Yeah, right. We were first. To, by the way, on the show, on Liz, I was with Liz. Mm -hmm. We were first to say they are that there. There's insiders inside GE talking about further cutting of the dividend 
And actually, Ouch. we mentioned again yesterday, Ouch. now Mr. Flannery, the CEO, says it's in the, it's in the work. Now, if you traded on what we said a couple of days ago, uh, you made a lot of money. The power business, though, yeah. not doing so well. All right. Oh, I think it's more than that. I think yeah. it's cash flow. You know, listen, you could, if you sell their engine business and you get $3 billion in cash, right? They say mm -hmm. it's an $11 billion sales, but you really get like $2.9 $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. billion in cash. Mm -hmm. That still doesn't do a lot for their cash flow. I mean, just remember, this is all about cash flow with GE. The only way to improve this company is to get cash flow. One of right. the biggest sort of what sucks a lot of air out of the cash flow in GE, it's the dividend. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Charlie, thank you very much.